Artist John Mick Stanley was an adventurer who traveled to the West more than any other artist in the mid-19th century. The model for the central figure here was a Blackfoot chief named Seen From Afar, whom Stanley met on one of his Western expeditions. The proud chief stands with his sister, Natawista, in red, along with a group of multi-generational American Indians. They're poised against a dramatic and symbolic backdrop, a rocky outcropping, the ocean, and the setting sun. It's very unlikely that either Seen From Afar or Natawista ever visited the West Coast. So this painting is not literal, it is metaphorical. It tells us that the native peoples of the West have been pushed as far as they possibly can be pushed, and that symbolically is the Pacific Ocean. Bleached buffalo skulls at the left foreshadow their impending demise. Stanley's artistic efforts to raise awareness about the Indian's plight led him to create a gallery of Indian-themed paintings to both preserve American Indian history and educate the general public. It was a commercial enterprise, but it was also a very important artistic enterprise. He had hoped that the federal government would buy his Indian gallery, which by the 1850s numbered as many as 150 paintings of Indians from Oklahoma, from the Southwest, from the Columbia River, and from the Northern Plains. Stanley's concern was widely shared, as illustrated by the poem An Indian at the Burial Place of His Fathers by the 19th century poet and newspaper editor William Cullen Bryant. They waste us, I, like April snow, in the warm noon we shrink away, and fast they follow as we go towards the setting day, till they shall fill the land and we are driven into the western sea.